How's it going guys? GLR Cordell here. Um, this is just a video of the daily C races at Sardegna uh, on race A. It was a pretty intense battle um, you know, throughout the, the courses in this daily race C. I think a lot of people have been enjoying this. Um, and this is my take in Racing in the fairly top split lobbies, you can see here this server from P1 to P19, um, there was a difference of 8 tenths of a second, so a pretty competitive lobby. Uh, let me just pause this while I go through it. So, so yeah, it's a pretty, in pretty intense lobby. Um, some of the drivers in there were sort of, you could say, top split drivers, not like the best best, but definitely very competitive. Um, the majority of people will tend to race the vet as you can see here um, but obviously the McLaren is the best one uh, for qualifying time um, so I forgot where I was starting here so starting in P6 um, like I said once again uh, it was a very competitive lobby the guy behind me there uh, the French dude um, I've seen him through loads of uh, streamers that I follow um, he's been in again top speed lobby so I knew that he was a fast guy um, so yeah let's see how this race turns out and I'll do some commentary for that let's just put this on there we go so I'm starting on the mediums um, just always be, be careful when starting on the mediums that you get your braking points correct and the tyres obviously not as warm as they would be when starting the race. So yeah, going into this race, um, I was really grinding in trying to sort of do my achievement which I never really got to a point in doing in terms of becoming a A plus driver it's always been a goal of mine um, but as some of the guys who I race with know I took a big break away from, from Grand Turismo Sport due to numerous reasons um, and see so yeah, a bit about an 18 month break so it was quite a lengthy break away and I just wanted to get to A plus due to GT7 being around the corner so I thought Let's do this race here because I think a week before this race come out, I was do I did a charity race which was an hour long in GT threes and due to that race it gave me the confidence to remember to try and grind out and getting my driver rating up and this race here it managed with the final position which I won't say yet um, gave me that achievement which I was of course um, very very happy about. So these guys here obviously went wide and took completely advantage of advantage of that and did a nice little move there. Maybe we want that back actually. So these guys coming wide, as you can see. So that's the it's really really wide. The McLaren's obviously follow these line, which you shouldn't really do. And there you go, two clean overtakes, two for the price of one. Thank you very much. I knew these guys were quick, so I had to make sure my breaking point was on point, which it was. The Aston has gone a little bit deep. I've done the old switcheroo, thank you very much. Down in, up to P4. So a quick look behind the battle. So again, this is the guy I was referring to, the French dude. Um, he's been in quite a few top splits, particularly in this particular race. So I knew he was going to be a threat. And you'll see later on um, that me and her had a pretty pretty good battle coming up let's go to around this section here the guy this guy in front here Johnny Ventura um, again I've seen him quite a few times again once again not going to get a pound every time I say this but you know top split lobbies um, which again this shows the uh, the competitive nature of this particular this particular race again not sort of alien aliens um, but I knew this because the W was so competitive, it was key to get a good start. And now I've got some clear air, which is good and bad, um, because I ideally wanted to have some slipstream 
so I knew it was uh, very very important not to make any mistakes because one mistake and you literally lose so, so many positions and so much time as I couldn't afford so now my own little race um, generally speaking the if you're in the vet you can uh, do two options really um, on the mediums you could probably pit on the third lap which is just go back as I was saying that you can either pit on the third lap or pit on the fourth lap of mediums and then do obviously six laps in the soft and seven laps in the medium uh, seven laps in the soft either but he's decided to go on in this guy here so you'll see later on why that is quite important for him this is going to me here Just try my absolute best to keep some uh, some clean lines and try and it's all about consistent laps really. I think really good laps um, on the mediums you're probably looking at the so-called aliens, maybe sort of like low or mid 140s, something like that. So that first that was a for me was a 41.5, so about a second of the pace of the so-called top top dogs. Um, but let's see what I could do in this particular lap here. Breaking point is just before the 100 meter board, which is very, very important. It's always good to get a good exit here as well. Get the power as early as you can, but be careful with that back end. The key as well is not to move the car too much, um, meaning try to get your you know don't move the car too much because you don't want to ruin the tires and i've learned that as well over the course of doing these races because tire tire wear is obviously a factor so the less you move the car it sounds really nerdy less to move the car um but the more chance you're going to have more tires that causes into your stints let's see what lap i pull off here that's not bad, I won 41 one, four tenths off the last lap. Again, 100 meter board, go down the second. You could do that in third, but I find it a bit too difficult because you can probably carry a bit too much speed running in third gear here. Um, again, you want to brake just after the 50 meter board, go a little bit straight in off the brakes. You don't want to be on the accelerated here. Second gear, straight into third. Eliminate the spin as you just saw there. Once again, just after 50 board, it's like turning in after the second barrier. Get as close as possible. Wait, 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 and then accelerate out. Here you see the gap is pretty consistent so far with, with Johnny Ventura behind me there. So I think I made the decision that this was the fourth lap, so this is my end lap, so I knew these last corners here were so important to, to get right. This corner here is, is the deal breaker really. It's You could say that like the chicane of death for two, because um, the amount of people who can get that wrong would be very, very surprised. Again, very important exit here, not too bad. Again, same sort of gap here. There's a bit of a battle at the back, which is kind of good for my race. Um, but the guys at the front have decided to stay out. But I said no. Um, I've got no slip. You know, I needed to come in the fourth. And then guys were on the softs as well. So that is also fairly important. So with them being on the softs, they will probably do six or seven laps on the softs. I'm just coming to this here. Coming out, this is behind me. So, there's my sort of rival for the for the race. Uh, Ding, I'm gonna call him, or Didding. He's now on the softs with one lap. Uh, Warn and that. And this is where I knew, right, game on now. Because I knew that he was a fast guy. He got the Joe, uh, this Johnny behind him as well is always a fast guy and these McLarens particularly off the first sort of couple of laps will gain time on the vet so once again I just got into the mindset of 
consistent laps and no mistakes. There. Turning early, just after that, sort of when a curb it disappears into the grass, that's the time to dab the brakes and then turn in fairly early. Break a 100 meter board, brake, 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 coast, and then accelerate. So these guys are now pitted, which is very extremely important. Let's see where I'm at here. So he stayed out. I think he has stayed out as well. And where am I at? He's doing it. There we go. Sorry about that. So at this moment in time, yeah, um, of course being in P4, I knew that these, this uh, only all Obviously he's just pitted, he's now in the mediums. This guy has stayed out. So he might, well in my opinion, I knew he was going to come in at some point in this lap. And so is this guy. So, again, running a purple lap here. I forgot what my laps were, but I knew it was pretty consistent. Hence why I was very happy with this race. Um, I just wish I had some slipstream because that could have... Again, it helps your tyres with the slipstream. Um, obviously, helps your, your race time. Um, but you know, playing devil, devil's advocate, it's probably good to have clean air like this because you can literally fully concentrate on your braking points um, and just literally just have tunnel vision, really, which I think did help me throughout the course of this race and knew that my targets were in front of me, so that gave me the motivation to do well. So the this fella's going into the pits now to see where we head out. We're gonna be on board. Stay with myself and to see where it happens. Uh, if I do get in front um, of that fella who went in first. Oh, so it's also the Finn as well. The Finn has also gone into the pits. So let's see. So he's gone out. He's just been taken by that only old. And I've now come into P3, which isn't too bad at all. So the guy initially went to the pitch to Finn. Where's he gone out? He's come out in P... So P14. So this shows you, you need to maximise those tyres. You really need to maximise those tyres. And he may have done a mistake or... I don't know what his situation was. So now we're in lap 7. As you can see, just running a purple there. My last lap was a 140.2, which some for someone like me, that's really, really good. Um, because the real top split drivers, from what I've seen, the one of the fastest that I come across is a, I think it's a 139.2. So I was a real second behind, you know, proper, you know, races. So I knew, just re-watching this race back, that I was in my element here. I was really 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 determined and I guess with the two drivers in front of me there we went too far away I just wanted to keep pushing as best I possibly can nice line there and of course a big shout out as well um, obviously guys who are watching um, there's an EDTM series uh, which is going to be starting next week uh, next week Saturday the 26th of Feb um, and these guys are amazing they, they are top lads um, you set up everything you know do the, obviously the leagues uh, good discord as well and like I said if it weren't for for these guys setting up the league I probably wouldn't be back in Grand Turismo to be fair um, and of course, big shout out to the GLR boys, Guinness Land Racing, um, who are obviously taking part in the EDTM series. And uh, it's just good for me personally. It's just great to be racing back again with my mates. Um, 
and just the love of sim racing really so uh, watch out for the series taking part uh, next weekend on the Saturday and I do hope to maybe stream some of the races or at least show the replays um, you know, from, from the weeks going forward so um, if there's something which you're interested in, in watching uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel um, obviously like it as well and any comments anything you want to see different uh, feel free to let me know back to the race so the last lap I did there was a 140.4 which again is really good because the tyres um, are wearing out pretty much every single race so I knew that I was on point for, for consistently laps there and again a 144 is a, again for someone like me it, it was pretty decent so my sort of rival for the day, Di Ding, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. You can see, the thing about the McLaren, it's a great um, qualifying car, but in the race, the tyres can't keep up with, with the likes of the Vets. Um, I think the strategy for, I see the race here quickly, if I go back to what I was saying. So don't forget this fella here, petted a lap later, so he does have slightly fresher tyres, he's now taking the lead. And of course, me in the background there, I was hoping these guys was to battle to try and get as close as possibly can. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the, the McLaren, uh, the best strategy I, for me personally, when I started off in this race was a 5-5. Five, five, so five laps in the medium, five laps in the soft. Um, but at the end of those stints and both tyres, they're shot. You know, the car's drivable, but you just lose race too much time hence why the vet was probably the best option to choose for for most people in this race let's look at this battle so he's quite smart there he tries to bump draft in so he doesn't lose too much time in my opinion he was probably just trying to maybe get him on the long straight because the slipstream in the, in the, camp, the McLaren F1 is so superior compared to the vet. As you can see there, look, the tyres are just giving way. So he's got 30 tyres here, and I saw that, so I knew I could probably gain maybe at least half a second. So let's see the gap if it does change. So as you can see, the gap is now closing. And behind me, the gap is further. So I knew, I, I kept always looking back to see where the gap was. So I knew from this now going to the last lap is either P3 for me if I keep it consistent or if I maintain my consistency I could even get P2. So once again I was so determined to, to keep uh, the best race in line, the breaking points and let's see if only all can, uh, can maybe make an error. Final lap here. Little dab in the brakes to turn the car because the tyres are very, very warm now. coming to the final corners again you're kind of hoping for yourself not to hit the wall but <laughs> kind of hoping for them to make a mistake so I was seeing make sure I do mine first which I hit it pretty decent doesn't matter about that two tires and the grass doesn't give you dirty tires final corner not bad but the guys have fun nailed it so yeah p3 and I was very very happy with this result um i knew coming into this race if i had a good result in a, in a lobby like this i could have reached my target in getting a plus and i did so after all that grinding effort i now managed to, to become an a plus driver which i was very very happy about um so feel free to subscribe to this channel like comment and uh, i shall see you in the next one goodbye